Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 4. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the Class F Asian Tour. Uh, so I think the plan that I'm going to do is for the first... Obviously, the first three events I've done as the Citroen. From now on, every single event is going to be a different car. But for the Euro Tour, I'm going to take a European car. For the Asian Tour, I'll take an Asian car. And for the uh, North American Tour, I'll take a North American car. And then for the World Tour, I'll take whatever. Same with these ones. Obviously, for this one, I need to take a, a hybrid drivetrain. And for this one, I need to take an economy body style. But for these, it will be Euro car, Asian car, North American car. So that's the plan. That is the plan from now on. Uh, I'm going to upgrade my car. And if you saw that, we are driving the Nissan Leaf. Uh, this is the first electric car. That we actually get to drive in this game. We're going to be starting off with the Sakuba circuit. Twin ring Mategi. And Suzuka circuit. And actually I realise it's not just this game. It's the first electric car in any Forza game. This is the first time we're driving an electric car in Forza in this series. That's crazy. Alright, here we go. It's time for the electric leaf. Absolutely no revving noises whatsoever. There's also no gears. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm not a fan of electric cars over petrol cars. But I get this giddy little bit of excitement when I drive an electric car. No gears whatsoever. It's just this electric automobile. It's just, it's just fast. Electric cars are quick. They're also heavy. And it's clearly obvious that this thing weighs an absolute metric ton. But I mean, look how cool it is to drive. Obviously, you can press this button, you change your camera angle. You can definitely tell there's a lot of uh, regenerative braking, because you can see how s much it slows down in terms of speed. It's so quiet. It's so quiet. I feel like I've got to talk. To sort of fill the void. That an engine normally would fill. Because now it's, it's just deathly silent. It's just quiet. Quiet. <laughs> it's so quiet. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Unpopular opinion, but I actually quite like the Leaf. I think it's quite a cool little looking car. Granted, it's a dreadful car. It's made by Nissan. It feels like a tank. It's slow. But it's, it's quite a cool looking car. The Duke, on the other hand. Dreadful. Get rid of it. I don't like the Duke at all. And I know someone who's thinking of getting a Duke as well. And uh, I hope they don't see this, because uh, I don't like it. I hate the Duke. I hate the Duke. I, d I just think it's such a wonky looking car. I don't like the Duke at all. I don't mind... Um, 
The Ford Puma, though. Which is basically like... It, it's like what the Duke was trying to do. But actually executed properly. Because the Duke was basically just supposed to be like in between a SUV and a uh, hatchback. Obviously, that's what the Puma is. It's in between an SUV and a hatchback. But it's actually done quite well. And I quite like the look of the Puma. Yeah, I mean, some people don't like the Puma. Um, I didn't like it f at first. Until I started looking at it more and more in the WRC. And I thought, actually, that's quite a cool looking car. And the original car started growing on me as well. It's the same with Porsche, actually. I had a deep hatred for Porsche 10 years ago. Like, as a kid, when I, I liked cars... Porsche was one of those brands I was like, I don't like that. It looks ugly. And I would say it non-stop. I hated Porsches. I don't like Porsches. Ugh, that's ugly. Ugh, what a... Ugh, why would you drive that? Now, one of my top favorite cars. If I had... Uh, one of my top 10 cars. Porsche 918 Spider. Top 10. So, yeah, I get that there's a long run in history, but history doesn't mean shit to me if I don't like the car. So, for me, Porsche didn't really care too much. Um, it's the same with the Mustang, really. I'm not really... Oh, I got driver level 10. Well, let's go. I'll take that. I do think them calling that Mustang the marquee was a bad move. Oh, so I can take the Peugeot RCZ at Scirocco or the Mazda Speed. I'm going to take the RCZ for this one. And... I want it in red. Yeah, the marquee isn't a Mustang. It shouldn't have been called Mustang. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Oh, sorry. This car doesn't do that. I forgot. It's electric. <laughs> so how's everyone doing today? Hopefully everyone's having a good day. If you are in chat, say hi. You'll get a little avatar on the screen if you do. Oh, he's overshot it. If car doesn't do a room, there's nothing to stop you making it. I mean, oh, what? You want me to do the room? Vroom! There you go. I have made my own vroom. Vroom, vroom! <laughs> Leaf can be 6 row if you want to. I can also make it a V12. <laughs> Joe, are there any cars that do have V16s? I don't think there is. And if there is, they're very well hidden. Oh, that's the glare from the building. I was like, what the hell is that? Are you... The electric motor's getting louder. And then it gets really quiet. And it's just tire squeal. And then the electric motor gets louder. As it gets faster.
85 miles an hour. Not bad. Right, we got two more laps after this one. Some odd experiments for sure, like old, old. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd love to see like a, a V16 engine in a car. It's not gonna happen. I do think somebody, right, somebody needs to get off their ass. I know that's ironic coming from the guy that is currently sitting on his ass. But somebody needs to invent a way to store hydrogen safely that means it's not a flammable liquid. Or gas. Whatever. Because hydrogen, right, under pressure, is like a bomb. If you can get it so that hydrogen can be combined with something that's more stable and then can be used to turn into electricity or straight up as fuel in a combustion engine brilliant like i kid you not hydrogen would be the future but all it takes is for someone to either make it safe to store or makes it more stable as a fuel than just straight up hydrogen because hydrogen itself has quite a lot of um what's it called energy stored up in it so bing bong bing bong bing bong bing bong bing is that mini solar panel on the wing i never even noticed that but that's great Alright, very nice. I'll take that result. Woohoo! Alright, here we go. Hey, 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 hey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see how well this thing does. The little boat that could. Beep beep. Get oot me wee. Lad, get oot me wee. start so far. Come on, let's get 100 miles an hour! 100 miles an hour! A little bit of a drift along as well. Yeah, I'm... Um, I think we're going to start doing some uh, Forza Cruises at some point. 
I'm going to start getting back into doing cruise every so often. Um, it might not be Forza that I do, though. I might start with uh, either the Crew Motorfest, which is coming out soon, uh, or potentially another game. Motorfest would be quite cool to uh, cruise around in, though. Just hold on. Just hold on. Yeah, the closed beta was actually pretty good. Uh, compared to what I played in the um, Insider, which I, I, the Insider stuff is still under NDA. So technically I can't give details about the Insider program. But uh, the closed beta compared to the Insider program, closed beta was a million times better. So they've made improvements big time. Yeah, I, I can't really say if it's good or not. Uh, all I all I will say is the closed beta was a huge improvement over it. So, um, I'm very happy. Yeah, the NDAs are a little bit pants. So, especially when it comes to content creation, I, I don't want to risk it with an NDA. But, yeah... I mean, what I can say is comparison really to... I mean, it, it doesn't really matter because A, people know that it was an alpha build anyways. Like, it's going to be bad. Like, if there are bugs, bugs are going to happen. So, um... But yeah, the, the fact that from that build to the next one was such a phenomenal improvement gives me so much hope for the full release like that's and again that's a very huge positive yeah that's a very huge positive towards ubisoft so if they're gonna fuck me up and say oh you broke end sod off i've just complimented your game I mean, genuinely i'm actually really excited for um the crew three, the crew motor the first. I I'm also looking forward to co-op as well. Um, I may be getting some people to just hop on. Um, I might not be waiting for a sale, but I also want it on Steam, and I want them to fix Battle Eye on the Steam Deck. So if they can fix Battle Eye. Yeah, I suppose. But I'm also a sucker. I'll still pre-order games because of Steam's uh, refund policy. So I'll pre-order it, try it. If I don't like it, I can still refund it. Uh, so historic rally icons. This is going to be awesome. And actually, it's going to be extremely difficult to pick a car for this. Uh, I've got to do it. I'm sorry, the sleeker. It's my car. I like it. I like a good Toyota, so sorry, I'm going for it in red. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.